Hello and welcome to Asia Calling, your window on Asia. In today's program, the search for the missing continues in the Philippines. And Burma's ethnic communities want to be counted fairly in a landmark nationwide census. And we meet an extraordinary breakdancer from India who was born without legs. Welcome to the program, I'm Rebecca Hinchke. It's been four months since a typhoon devastated parts of the Philippines. Worst hit was the city of Tuloban, where at least 2,600 people lost their lives. The search is still on for many of the missing, and some say it's going too slow. Jason Strother has more. The village, or Barangay 83A, is located on the waterfront. The typhoon, known locally as Yolanda, caused a tidal surge that engulfed every home here on November 8th of last year. But locals are rebuilding. Olive Cardenas is a midwife who's worked in the community before and after the storm. As of now, the people are still uh, moving on, recovering things, especially uh, their places, their homes, their houses. But definitely, Yolanda still remain in their minds. <laughs> it's, it's not really things that easily forgotten. It's, it's, it's really a uh, disaster. 56-year-old Corazon Go says the flood water rose about three meters and destroyed her small home. What's up, good year, narubang tanan. Tako niya nakukuha nung nga, simpre, waray man ako kwarta, para ako makaaya dito akong balay. Her home and belongings weren't the only precious things Go lost during the typhoon. Seven residents of Barangay 83A died during the storm and flooding. They include Go's two daughters. Mismo had to on time han pag pagkakita ko had to han pagbagyo. Amula na pagkakita ko dahil iya. The body of her daughter, 33-year-old Ellen, was recovered, but her other child, 37-year-old Eden, has not been found. Four months after Typhoon Haiyan, the search for the remains of the missing continues. Specially trained search dogs have been flown into Tacloban from the United States to help with the recovery effort. They're especially useful in mangroves behind Barangay 83A and other difficult terrain. Dog handler Jim Houck is with the group Global Dirt. So the dogs have been imprinted with uh, to know that they're looking for a specific scent, and in this case, the specific scent is human remains. And that's what we train with, and that's how they know. So what we do is they're trained to smell human remains, and then when they find it, they give us their indication, which is either a bark or they'll either sit or lay down. When remains are found, the team marks the spot with yellow tape. Later, another recovery team will come in and remove the body. You know, our hope is that we go out and we don't find anything. Unfortunately, we do. We, find, we do find remains. Finding the remains of the missing is one challenge for Tacloban. Another is identifying the thousands of corpses that were buried in mass graves after the typhoon. Doctors from around the country are now examining these bodies in hopes of bringing closure to those still searching for family. Dr. Roberto Santiago heads the team from the National Bureau of Investigation. Uh, what we did uh, this morning is we exhumed uh, about uh, 90 bodies. Right now we are placing the bodies on our uh, tent and uh, we have to check the, the clothes and find out if there's any identification card. And then we remove the, the clothes and then of course we open the body and get DNA sample. Some of the Bureau's doctors say the recovery and identification process is moving slowly due to a lack of manpower. They claim the Tacloban city government isn't paying laborers needed to get the job done. Bernardita Valenzuela is a spokeswoman for Tacloban's mayor. She says the local government is doing the best that it can, but in Typhoon Haiyan's wake, it's broke. The destruction is so massive, is so widespread that it's not really enough. Although there are well-meaning uh, people who come, organizations from abroad and uh, national, it is not enough. Our resources are very limited. 
back in Barangay 83A, locals continue to rebuild and try to get back to their normal lives. And as for Corazon Go, whose daughter's body has yet to be found, that also means letting go of the past. Thank you.